it is Mindfulness Monday, and let us take time to sit in silence and reflect upon ourselves. The energies that have been raining down upon earth are now integrating within your energetic bodies. As taught in the Proco teachings, your emotional body is cocooned around your physical body. Your mental body feeds threads of light signals through your emotional body to send these signals into your mental converter. It is these signals that the brain must translate to the physical body. As stated in the Shekinah Codex, as the physical body perceives an external stimulus, it then decodes it by way of the mental converter core of the ego matrix. As these signals are being translated, it communicates to you by way of emotions and feelings. Since these signals are new vibrational spectrums entering your field, your brain is not able to properly translate them. This then creates those emotional roller coasters and those sudden feelings that you are lingering in an emotional whirlwind. Well, because you are. This whirlwind holds the compositions of light that are directly anchoring from your light body, also called your higher self and your soul. As this light descends to anchor around you, they then uniform to become elements which mold your new energetic bodies for your next stage of your physical ascension. Think of this process as baking a cake. You first need the proper ingredients. These ingredients then must be mixed properly. Once they are mixed properly, then they are placed into a mold that will give this mixture a new body. This cake then is placed into the oven where it is consumed by heat. The new body is your illuminated, pearlescent, ascended form that needs the heat of your spirit, which is that Christos light, to allow this form to solidify and become tangible in your reality. The heat is the compositions of your light that are now integrating within your cellular structure which is labeled as DNA upgrades. As these new vibrations are integrating, one must take time and solitude to observe these signals. This is a way of recoding those old thought patterns to align this new higher vibrational spectrum with your newly integrated light. What is meant here is for you to become one with these new feelings and ask yourself, what is the source of them? Observe how they feel and note how you react to them once they come into your field. It is suggested that you be very observant on how you are interacting with others during the remainder of this calendar year. As all are feeling these DNA upgrades, we must remind ourselves to be kind and have calm passion. Be mindful to how you react towards others when you are feeling these new spectrums. Observe if you are lashing out towards others because you are confused on what these emotions are and these new feelings and vibrations. Most importantly, be kind to yourself. It is okay to feel because we are all energy, and this energy must flow through and around us without meeting resistance. Do not allow this energy to linger for too long in your mind, but instead allow it to flow through the body. The biggest misconception is that blame is placed on others in relation to how one feels. The way you feel is not controlled by anyone or anything outside of you. This is the biggest programming amongst the collective. Responsibility needs to be placed upon self. You have full control over how you feel. It is not anyone else's responsibility to make you feel loved, 
appreciated, worthy, beautiful, and so forth. We want to place blame on others for our own emotional state when it is ourselves who hold the keys gifted by God's source to open any doors that we desire. Nothing stands in your way except the ego mind. Push down those walls and nothing is impossible for you. There are many more stages after this stage. As taught in the Shekinah Codex, there are four worlds one must ascend before they reach full transcendence. These are ancient, ancient Kabbalah teachings. This current world is the first stage of ascension where one becomes a master. Please reference the four worlds section code in the Shekinah Codex for this full teaching. The more one ascends into the light, the more they will feel. You become more sensitive because more non-physical sensors are coming back online. This occurs because more veils are now becoming placed around the ego, which is the mind converter, and less veils are placed around your spirit. The closer you get to unification with your spirit, the more plugged in you become to the web of light that feeds into all of existence. If you need help focusing upon your journey, the One for Four Seraphim and I have created this six-month weekly energy check-in journal for this process. For example, it has weekly channeled inspirational quotes designed to assist you along the way, weekly vibrational temperature check-ins, weekly body check-ins that help you become more in tune with how your body feels, weekly love notes to help you write love letters to yourself to help build self-love and appreciation for your own body, which is your temple, to house and anchor your light. Always remember, just like the butterfly inside the chrysalis, one must beat and beat their wings until they burst free. This makes you stronger. With each battle in your life, those wings that you have beat and beat, they become stronger. This is part of your metamorphosis. You are a light warrior.